Hello, hello, hello everyone. Dr. Sue here. Welcome to The Short Answer. It is always a great pleasure to connect with you in whatever ways we can. And so here we are in our monthly short answer where we get to spend a few moments just connecting on something that needs to land within us that we can walk with and come from that will truly uplevel our lives in some capacity. So you know that I'm always bridging science and spirituality and I'm always allowing us to take what quantum science is showing us, what bioenergetics research is showing us and weaving them together along with, of course, epigenetics and all sorts of new biology that are surfacing all the time and allowing us to recognize that we are constantly rejuvenating and regenerating and we're constantly recreating who we are. And there is an imagery that begins to happen as we are cultivating all of these aspects of consciousness together. There is an imagery that starts to happen right behind our eyes. It is a sense, it's a felt sensation, and it is a reality. So tonight in the short answer, I'm gonna to speak to you about dreams and images that are occurring to you and the reality that they bear. Uh, but first I want to make a couple of announcements for us and uh, just keep us connected. So we are, by the way, in the process of revamping some of our communication platform. And so if you receive fewer emails, which might be good um, from us in the near days to come, uh, don't be alarmed. You haven't gotten dropped off of any lists and we haven't disappeared off the surface of the planet. We're just busy revamping and recreating uh, in a manner that will serve you consistently and in a manner that is more appealing to, uh, to the village people and to you. So, uh, so know that that's on the way. So I might be connecting with you even more often on Facebook Live. So you might want to kind of stay tuned and plugged in because we have some exciting things coming up down the road uh, that we want to do through social media platforms as well. So uh, let me get to my announcements and just let you know what's happening. Uh, we have the next, the second Body Awake Yoga Teacher Training um, uh, certification program starting. So we do this a couple of times a year and it's time for our round two for this one and it is beginning on September 1st. So if you are interested in a 12 module teacher certification, um, eight modules inside of a personal growth capacity where you don't necessarily want to become a teacher but you'd really love to learn the history of yoga and the physiology and the practices of yoga and why and how breath work came to be and what it is that yoga asana is and learn about those asanas, uh, the yoga positions and how they benefit you, then the personal growth version of that program is certainly something that many people are plugging into, not thinking they really want to be a teacher, but they just want to learn the information for, taught from the body awake perspective, which means the 12 chakra system and so much more, working with the new sciences and working with integration and working with this soulful application of what science is bringing us. And so I love to teach it, as you might be able to tell, and I look forward to sharing that with you. And then, um, uh, so there, there is a link in the, uh, in the chat there, bodyawakeyoga.com. You can find out the information that you need about that. We also have level two of the energy codes coming up soon. It is an interactive live stream class as well. And it is what is following up after level one. If you are uh, missing level one, which is underway right now, uh, please know that you can contact us and maybe get on the fast track to get caught up in time to register for level two so that you won't be left behind by any means, not if I have anything to do with it. And that is starting on September 2nd. So level two starts on September 7th, I'm sorry, September 7th. So it's an eight module program that takes you deep into the energy centers and the aspects of consciousness that are so high that they can't really be contained inside the physical body. So there is a version of us that is this ethereal self that is the invisible you, that is the real you. And uh, we dive you know, way in to the depths of how that applies based on information that has been handed down uh, and long lineage through our ancient civilizations, which I love tying together for you. So, um, so that is happening. Body Awake Yoga membership class is the first and third Thursday of each month. 
you can join us by signing up for the Body Awake membership. Uh, that link is in the comments as well here. And the membership includes two live Body Awake classes each month live, or, or maybe I've just recorded them maybe a day or so before, depending on uh, current travel schedules that are starting to happen. But it is my intention to always be bringing you new content and workshops and all sorts of ways to perfect your yoga uh, understanding and your yoga practice. We've been having a lot of fun with that. Those of you that are in the Body Awake Yoga with me, we've been, we've been uh, digging in and having some new breakthroughs there. It's been fabulous. And so you also have archives to uh, access to the archives of classes that are, that are um, uh, many, many classes we've been teaching since the beginning of COVID. It says 40 plus classes here on my notes, but I think there are actually more classes than that available to you. And also I wanted to remind you about our monthly healing transmission. So it is coming up on Wednesday, July 28th. Wednesday, July 28th, the next healing transmission, which I love, love, love to connect our global family together in this sort of way. Uh, you can go to monthlyhealingtransmission.com and register for that. It is free and it is a way for us to... I don't know what that is. No, go ahead. Uh, that is... Well, I don't know what that is. It's a clock. Pardon? There's a clock. Okay, so uh, that is a way for us to... Sorry, they're trying to manage me while I'm talking to you. And um, that is a way for us to, to connect in a way that is very significant for maintaining, sustaining, and contributing to um, uh, what is needed on this planet at this time. There is a lot of confusion, a lot of fear, and a lot of anxiousness, and really what I want you to understand is there is a lot of new energy surfacing right now. And if you could just see it from that perspective, you would be able to embrace these feelings that we automatically call discontent, or nervousness, or anxiety, or unhappiness, or depression. Uh, there is a quick trip of the mind to flip it into something negative, and I just want to encourage you to join us in all ways that you possibly can to keep your perspective in a, an evolutionary uh, manner, to keep your mind's eye on the fact that there is always only ever one thing happening here. And it is happening right in the middle of making decisions about vaccines. It is happening right in the middle of you hearing on the news that new strains of, of viruses are, are, are surfacing and, and the numbers are rising and people are concerned and things that we're opening up are locking down. And this one thing is always present right in the middle of all of that. It is present if there has been a challenge in your life, if you've lost your job or losing relationship or you're losing loved ones in, and are unable to tend to life the way that your heart would have you tend, please know that there is a something that is present even in that moment. And that is the thing that I want to cultivate for this community. And in the healing transmission, we are doing exactly that. In the Body Awake Yoga classes as well. Here we meet for the short answer for that same reason. And it is to remind you of a version of you that is not caught up in the dramas that are happening in our lives right now. And if you could, if you only would, allow those energies that are seemingly uncomfortable and you wondering what it is that you're to do next, or you just wonder if it's ever going to feel the way that you feel comfortable again, if you could turn that into wow, this is new, wow, this is new, how can I lean into the newness and what's being asked of me in this moment? What is being asked of me by the universe, by this flow that's happening through my life? How is it calling me to rise? How is it calling me to trust? How is it calling me to open and to move? And what I want to speak to you about this evening is, you know, I, I called it dreams are real. Um, everything that you are walking through is a dream and your response to what is happening in the media, what is happening in the news, what is happening in the world, your response to that is part of your dream. And if you can and you can manage to master your mind and steer it toward an inquiry rather than drawing a conclusion that this is bad and this is horrible, what am I going to do, and then getting afraid. Because the moment that we draw that type of a conclusion, the subconscious has no choice 
but to automatically respond as if the worst case scenario is happening. And if your subconscious is responding to that, it's going to elicit fight or flight responses. It's going to elicit chemistries into your body that cause your healing and your genius to shut down and for you to go to work to try to find the bear and fight the bear or run from the bear. And what we know is that nothing good comes from that and that ultimately we are here to master the mind and not let it run the show. So how do we do that? We have to engage with the mind in a loving and compassionate and collaborative way. We have to engage with the mind in such a fashion that it is um, knowing its relationship with the soul. It, we have to go into relationship with the mind in a fashion that allows it to be befriended, even if it's operating in a way that isn't what we want. By trying to push the mind or shame the mind or beat the mind into submission, uh, will never work. The mind will only have to retaliate and find another way to survive because it is a viable part of you. And so I want to invite you to love into your mind, to be compassionate to its attempt to protect you. When it goes into worst case scenarioing and wondering and fretting over something, it is doing what it thinks it should do in order to keep you safe but it is operating as a separate entity when it does that. And that, my friends, is no longer enough for you. It is time for you to bond with the mind and bring it back onto the heart and love into it so that it starts generating a vibrational frequency that your heart and your gut and these brains and these parts of your body, the brain and the gut and the brain and the heart and the brain and the head, have to start operating in collaboration if we're truly going to soar, to fly, to rise. And so by embracing the mind, by thanking it for its worrying, because its worrying is its expression of protection. That is the mind's contribution in a moment like that to the team, to the mix. And so we want to just bring it in and say thank you, and I don't really need you to be doing that for me in this moment. We used to need that. We don't need that. What we need now is to embrace what is happening and get into coherence with what is happening. Get into full stride with what is unfolding on the surface of this planet because even now in these moments that one thing is also still true and that is that there is only one thing that is ever happening and it is in support of you. So when we worst case scenario as our come from, which is what the mind does when it is separate from the soul, we are generating a dream that is more like a nightmare. It's more like something I really don't want to be experiencing. And when we call the mind back home and we give it a place to be and we honor it and we cherish it and we thank it and we start to train it by melting it with a vibrational frequency of love, bringing the mind's attention onto the body and honoring it. Love your mind. Thank your mind for its best efforts, even though they're feeble, even though it's not what you need. If it were a four-year-old trying to love and protect you, you would wrap your arms around it and thank it and tell it that you knew. And trust me, your mind got, it got arrested at that stage in your life. And there are parts of it that are still trying to play out in the ways that it does, developing this protective personality. And so we call it back home and we allow that to change the dream. And as we begin to change the dream, the movie, the experience, the life that you are having changes. Change the dreamer. We change the dreamer by putting the pieces back together again. And the dream will change when we start loving in to these aspects of ourselves that we've been uh, afraid of and pushing away and wishing that this feeling would go away. That is not the answer, my friends. Likewise, if you have a dream that is there, that has always been in the background of your life, it is there lurking and trying to make a contribution to that filtering system that rolls out and projects this movie out into the world that you're walking through. You know, let me just show you quickly this little image here. This is an image of what's happening here. The cosmos is compressing itself 
you know, dropping to the earth, rising up again and cycling around and generating this physical body that you're operating in. And then it is projecting and rolling that out into the world. And then you're walking into that projection that you are projecting out into the world. And so whatever we allow to contribute to that filtering process is creating the image that we are walking into all the time. This is what quantum science is showing us. And so it is time for us to actively engage in changing the dream by changing the dreamer, changing the channeler that is here, allowing this process to happen. If there is a dream that you have possessed for years in your life, and it's back there in the background, but whenever you think of it, you're, it would be like, oh, I always wanted to do that, or oh, I always wanted to experience that, or oh, I always wanted to go there, or to have that, or to ex have this unfold in my life. That is containing a vibrational frequency version of you that is sitting and waiting for you to give it permission to animate. Just like your mind is waiting for you to love it into the team, this part of you that is arrested and sitting back here, that is the dream of the ultimate, or a dream of an expanded version of you, or a dream of the yes that you would love to be living, I want to invite you to allow that to be real. You would not be dreaming the dreams that you dream if they weren't meant to be part of this entire recipe as well. Those dreams occur to you because they are part of you. They are you. They are the rest of you. And if you will allow that some spaciousness to love into and to inquire and to simply ask to remember some of these dreams at this time that perhaps maybe haven't been activated by your surroundings in the outer world right now in the recent months and year and a half plus. So let's activate it together as a community. Go back and figure out what your dreams are. Bring those forward and post them in our Facebook community and share them with each other and let's bring them to life. What are the dreams that you love to dream? What is it in you that's been waiting to activate? Let it become active so that it contributes to. The same time that you're embracing your mind, you're asking it to pay attention to something that maybe has gotten left behind. Because these dreams are real. They are as real as anything that you've been dreaming up your whole life long. They are as real as the intensity or the calmness that you're feeling at this time. It all unfolds because of how we are filtering the flow. So let's allow the flow to flow without filtering it so much. Allow those dreams to flow and allow them to become the reality that they are sitting and waiting for you to grant permission for. It is time for us to realize that you are masterful enough to tame this mind and bring it into the mix. And you are masterful enough to not need something on the outer world to tell you about your potential. It's been there in dream form for you all of your life. So let's share those with each other. Let's bring it into our Facebook community in the days to come and see what we can do to inspire one another and to, most importantly, let it be freed up. To come up and out of us is all that it ever wanted to do. So let's give it a start. Because your dreams are real if you let them be. All right, my friends, I'm hoping that you're enjoying the short answer. We're about to dive deeply into the master class, and I so look forward to connecting with you there. We're going to dive into whatever the crowd wants to speak about. So if you have some questions, bring them. And if you're not a gold member inside of Mortar Institute, then click on the link that is in the comments section as well right now. And you can pick up and join us. We're going to be starting at the bottom of the hour in about 10 minutes for the master class. I so look forward to sharing that time with you. As always, we're going to have an amazing time. Thank you all, and let's see those posts coming up, okay? Blessings, everyone. Namaste.